what is going on you guys we are back here today and today we are going to be talking about dark dimension 3 i have just finished the first few nodes of this game mode and uh, uh i wanted to speak upon my experiences with you guys basically some learning lessons i've had uh with the early uh with the early phases of this game mode and then some not so fun experiences things that i did not enjoy and things that i did not find to be very effective characters that i thought that were going to shine sort of not really didn't shine and then other ones that you were not expecting them to shine they did shine and uh, just some learning experiences and hopefully you guys find this useful and insightful uh, when you guys progress into this game mode as well here anyhow without further ado let's talk about uh, this uh, this game mode here so specifically with dark dimension 3 just to recap um, there's 16 nodes uh, the first four they don't require any trait specific characters so that's really nice because it gives you that flexibility to choose any characters you wish just keep in mind yeah just keep in mind though once you get into node 5 there is a global specific character trait so that's uh, you know it might hinder your progress now let me just reiterate here I think people were getting mixed up with um, finding out that you don't actually need five global characters to start node 5 so for example if you've got Phoenix and you've got Ultron those are two global characters and you use them for the first four nodes well guess what guys you can also start on node number five with those two characters you don't need five complete characters to start on node 5 you can start chipping away with those two characters but having said that um, when you do do those first four nodes keep in mind that once it gets to five uh, any characters you may have for example like Minerva, Loki, Hela, Spider-Man Symbiote um, they are character specific uh, and uh, they will not be able to progress through that node number five you only be able to use the global characters so keep that in mind um, that's just you know people didn't realize that uh, you only need um, you only need the first five characters to get into the game mode. You don't necessarily need five to start the next node. I could start Cosmic uh, node number nine with just Hela if I wanted to do so. Um, just anyhow, that's uh, hopefully that's insightful for you guys. Uh, moving on here, um, let's talk about some learning lessons. So initially, I had pushed into the game mode uh, Phoenix, Colossus, Ultron, Invisible Woman, and Shield Trooper. I've got all my videos listed in the description as well if you guys want to track that and see how I did with each specific uh, node. But yes, that's the starting lineup I had. And then once I got into node 3, I had some additional help bringing in Mr. Sinister, um, Minerva, and Loki later on. And uh, these guys were uh, pretty awesome because as we were gearing up in those nodes, just having those extra characters available allowed me to push extra days or extra attack attempts, excuse me, into those days. And uh, yes, it really helped chip away. And uh, yes, uh, as you kind of progress, you're going to realize that uh, this isn't going to be uh, this isn't going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to take um, as short as it did with Dark Dimension 2, where, you know, if you take a couple days on a node, you thought that was long. Well, guys, I'll show you how long my progress was. And uh, essentially, this is the amount of time I spent on each node. And hopefully it doesn't scare you guys. Um, but yes, first node wasn't too bad. Very similar to Dark Dimension 2. Pretty short, pretty simple. Um, they didn't have too many uh, minions on that first node. So there wasn't too many waves. Took me about three days. Uh, node number two, a little bit longer. And again, kind of closer to the uh, longer duration of a Dark Dimension 2 when I was up against the Deadpool and Miss Marvel nodes. Um, almost a week long, so six days. And then here's a doozy. Uh, node number three. Uh, 19 days so this is where it peaks and uh, yes it almost took me three weeks to get this node down and uh, you'll see why it's so annoying once you guys get into it uh, as I already said I've attached the links of the uh, the videos in the description if you guys want to see uh, how annoying the node number three is with the captain Mar er, excuse me the miss marvels and all the brawler teams oh my goodness uh, it was uh, I'm certainly glad and then as we pushed into day four a little bit less in the days but I would say the difficulty for sure was about the same as number three uh, I had additional heroes like Mr. Sinister, Loki, uh, um, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, who was the, f oh, uh, <laughs> Minerva, and uh, yes, yeah, so having those extra characters did really come in handy for those additional attacks and uh, really helped chipped away there. 
And uh, having said that as well, no number four, I was also able to use uh, Phoenix refreshes. So that helped again, uh, deal more damage. Uh, as you guys will uh, probably find out here as you progress. Um, anyhow, if there's any take home from this video, and you know, if I, I, you know, you guys don't like it, this video, you guys, you know, did not find it useful at all. I think the only take home you got to remember here is Phoenix is essential. Um, if there's any character to level up for Dark Dimension two or three, it's her. Uh, get her up as fast as you can. Not to mention, uh, she only needs um, she only needs like three of the pieces. So that's half the cost that any other characters and uh, it's literally um, she will be fast to get up. She rocks in arena. She rocks in blitzes. She rocks in a alliance war. I don't see why there's any reason not to get her. I think the big um, the big misconception was people thought that, you know, once she dies, uh, you know, it's not going to be handy for you if you progress through the node and then all of a sudden you have to revive her again because she doesn't sustain. Well, guess what, guys? Um, as you saw in the charts earlier, uh, this isn't going to take you a day or two to take the node down. It's going to take you days, weeks, uh, pretty damn close to a month there. And uh, yeah, she is absolutely essential, guys. So I'm telling you now, if there's any character to start leveling up on, you got to make sure you get Phoenix up there. I uh, can't stress that enough. So as I said, if there's anything to take home from this video, uh, Phoenix, 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 absolutely essential. Um, I do not regretting her uh, putting all, everything into her. I've even uh, t would all her abilities, um, her basic attack, everything. Okay, you want to get her as high as you can, as much damage as you can. All right, her drain is just absolutely instrumental. And uh, the reason why Node 3 was so tough was because when those brawlers assisted those attacks, she wasn't able to use her Phoenix uh, special, which basically does a percentage of their health. So that's the reason why I think, uh, for the most part, everyone struggles with Node number three so keep that in mind guys keep that in mind anyhow let's talk about node one so as i already said um earlier node one's very similar to dark dimension two there it's pretty straightforward you can check the video out i'm not going to talk too much about it other than that um you just got to make sure you focus on dr strange because he can revive but other than that i mean focus on the heals just like in uh dark dimension two you don't want anybody healing and kind of recuperating all the damage you've done and then you want to focus on Falcon and Ghost Rider. Again, uh, Falcon for obvious reasons because he can bring the speed up. He can do the damage, AOE, all that good stuff. Um, Ghost Rider, yeah, he heals. You know, he hits you when you kill another ally. So you want to make sure you can get rid of him. And then last but not least, Cyclops. Uh, he does a ton of damage and he unleashes his AOE uh, very, very um, you know, very extensively in that in that uh, game mode, and it does a ton of damage because his attack is through the roof. So you want to make sure you can get rid of these guys. Once you do, pretty straightforward. Like I said, it only took me a few days. Uh, Mr. Sinister, if you got him, he's amazing. Uh, just using his uh, his duplication, his uh, his you know his clones on uh, Falcon. Oh, it's gonna change the tide of the battle for you. It's gonna allow you to get that speed up on your uh, your opponents, and then all of a sudden, pow! You know you can land all your your uh, your taunts and your stuns and whatever characters you got going on there, or your ultimates and all that good stuff. So, like I say, um, Mr. Sinister, uh, make sure you guys get him up there. He is definitely a must. Uh, for this game mode for sure no number two same thing as one it took me a bit longer because there was uh, more waves than the first node but again very straightforward um, still very dark dimension 2 like and as I already said you want to focus on the heals so Groot and then Captain Marvel as well if you leave her alone she just absolutely annihilates and starts doing damage and just does her thing you know she starts building those charges and unleashing some pretty massive damage so you want to make sure you can get rid of her and Groot ASAP and then that way uh, that way you can focus on all the little scraps and the stragglers uh, there's a few Captain Marvels on no two so you want to make sure you can take her down as soon as she lands on the uh, on the floor and uh, if you got a Mr. Sinister you can clone her as well so again Mr. Sinister shines no number three uh, this you know I've already told you guys it's painful it's slow uh, you're just gonna have to just you know take it day by day uh, see if you can tick away and you know deal some damage and hopefully you know if Phoenix can land her special and do some drain great if she can land her ultimate even better uh, I found it very rare for me to um, get through the node with her uh, ultimate but because Colossus was on my team it gave her consistent um, mitigation from his taunt and it did allow them to take a couple hits on uh, Colossus before focusing her so she was able to land her special quite frequently 
but unfortunately it was her ultimate you know that rips all the buffs and does even more damage when they got defense down and again i wasn't able to alt as much as i wish and uh other factor too here is uh you see that the phoenix icon on the bottom there it's crossed out because don't bother using her refreshes um the first two nodes uh you can use her refreshes and uh you know he does she does the drain just fine and it takes a percentage of their health uh and it's effective but node three i tried refreshing didn't work because you get the assisted attacks from captain marvel or excuse me miss marvel and then all the other brawlers and then you've got black panther killing and and ravaging up there getting his kills and it's just absolutely you don't want to you don't want to face this node uh, uh, unprepared so go in guys uh, with a taunter Colossus I would say um, I had invisible woman and Colossus and at those times if I was able to land their taunts and their ultimates then maybe just maybe Phoenix will get to her ultimate and land her ultimate so again you want to get that extra cushion there and uh, you guys will see that Colossus comes in very handy in this node uh, I, don't, I can't stress that enough I feel like uh, there's a lot of my clanmates. They went into this one with uh, with a lack of a taunter. They had Juggernaut, or they had um, uh, they had uh, you know they had what do they have Captain America or somebody uh, just a one turn taunt whatever. And again, they couldn't withstand the damage. Colossus, he's got the death proof. He's got the deflect. Uh, he's got a two turn taunt with Phoenix on the team. He is a sure thing for this node. So make sure you guys get him up there. Uh, other than that, I mean. Uh, it's like I said, it's going to be slow. It's going to be painful, but you just got to take it day by day and just dish away and uh, hopefully do some damage to these guys. Next one, uh, we've got no four. And yes, uh, once you get to no four, it's going to be a little bit of a hurricane at the start. When you enter, you're going to see that strive Magneto. Everybody's going to start alting and doing a ton of damage, uh, pyro, everything. You know, it's going to lay everything on you. Um, I found it effective to split your teams into waves. That was effective because then some teams can basically uh, sponge the damage other than that i mean it was easier than no three in my opinion but again i had the uh the addition of mr sinister uh minerva and loki as well that's three extra guys and then on top of that i was also throwing in a phoenix refresh in there so when i mean suicide or refresh phoenix I mean, what I'm doing is I'm spending the 50 power cores and I'm reviving her and then she's going in with my next wave. So that would be either with Loki, Minerva, Mr. Sinister, who else, you know, and you can split your teams up uh, having that five in the first wave and then having four characters in the second wave. That was the strategy where I went with that one and it was effective and it did take me only 16 days. So much better than Node 3. But still a very difficult node because as you will see here, node 4 actually has I think 10 or 15 million more health than node 3. So it was, in terms of difficulty, it was more difficult, but I was able to do it faster with it. Uh, a, because I was able to refresh, and B, uh, because I had these addition of these characters and just adds that extra attack in. So again, completing node 4, uh, 3 days less than node 3. And, uh, and hopefully um, hopefully you guys find it easier as well here. I, I did not like node 3. So those are the first four nodes, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys found these useful. And I will leave you guys with the fact that, uh, again, if you got to take home anything from this video, it's Phoenix. Get her. She's cheap. She's powerful. Um, unfortunately, if you don't have her unlocked, you got to wait till she's got another legendary event. But if you do have her unlocked, yes, you know, level her up. She is end game. Uh, she is absolutely essential for this game mode. I can't stress that enough. Every day, uh, every day she deals a massive punch to these guys. Node 5, Node 6, I'm progressing to those nodes right now. And it's been pretty smooth, straightforward, same as uh, Node 1 and 2 again. But with Phoenix, she just makes it easy, guys. So make sure you have her. And uh, if I had to restart this and I had to restart the first four nodes, you know, what characters would I use? Well, guess what, guys? This is what I would go with. I would go with Colossus. You no know, shouldn't so no surprise there mr sinister i've already got him locked but i wish i had him earlier i'd seen uh, the progress from my earlier clown mates and on other content creators and he is absolutely amazing in the first few nodes because he can clone and he gives you that extra he gives you that extra damage mitigation if you got falcon on there he can provide the speed up you've got another captain marvel in there she's beefy she's strong and she can heal herself so again guys if you've got a strong mr sinister and he's uh you know high red stars make sure you get him into dark dimension three phoenix 
I don't think I need to touch anything on her anymore. <laughs> uh, the other two that I didn't really talk about is Scientist Supreme and Shuri. And if you guys are doing Ultimate 7, you guys will know how powerful these characters are. And again, um, I know I know what you're thinking. Whoa, that's two more tech. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? What are you talking about? Now, guys, um, if you look at all the top standing damage rosters, you don't even need to get into Dark Dimension 3. But if you just go into that preview and you look at the highest damage dealers and the ones that can one shot, two shot these nodes, or they're dealing 15, 20 million damage every attempt. Well, guys, they've got Shuri. They've got Santa Supreme. So that's the take home there. All right. That's the five that I would go with if I was to uh, if I was to go at this again. And for sure, I am working on these characters for the timed run uh, at this time because right now they're, they're global characters so obviously I won't be able to use them anymore after I'm done with global characters but keep that in mind that once you're going in for the second round in Dark Dimension 3 I will have these guys prioritized and ready to go so let's just talk about this again learning lessons Phoenix Essential Ultron Ultron I haven't really talked about I've got Ultron on my lineup and I gotta be honest with you guys he is a ton of materials, all right? He shares the same tech materials as Sherry and Santa Supreme. And if you guys wanted my opinion on this, you spend 30, 75, 75 of the mats you need. So these are the T13 uniques that you would need in total for getting these guys up to T14. Now, if you look at that comparison, you're almost comparing a very similar spending point with Sherry and Santa Supreme and Ultron. And again, you get two characters for the price of one has ultron been good for me well you guys can watch the gameplay and you can you know determine that for yourself but personally for me i've been disappointed with ultron yes once he gets his minions going and he starts getting that engine running and starts you know alting and then getting those buffs back up and killing yes it's fine but again to get that up and running requires a ton of conditions and again ultron's too squishy he's got no red stars and unfortunately he hasn't been a character that's been overly i haven't been overly happy with him i've been happy with phoenix i've been happy with colossus i've been happy with mr sinister but not with ultron another lesson here mr sinister i can't reiterate enough he's amazing get him uh, you guys won't really need your mutant materials anymore after the first uh, the first four nodes and five to eight uh, Again global characters. Yes, you'll need your global character traits and you can use your mutants as well But after that you don't really need your mutant materials. So by definition that means you only need enough mutant materials for Colossus for Phoenix and for Mr. Sinister you don't really need to invest any more mutant materials after that so you might as well you might as well focus on the three essentials, which is Phoenix, uh, Colossus, and Mr. Sinister. If you look at the other nodes, if you look at the Cosmic, you look at the City nodes, there's just no good mutants. I mean, unless they decide to add one that's of Game Changer, like, you know, Beast, or they decide to add, uh, you know, some, some other ones like Gambit or other mutants. Right now isn't the time to invest in, them, invest in them in those later modes. I would do it early on. So again, focus on those guys. Colossus, again, huge 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 and he's going to be an automatic taunter a lot of people didn't really think he was going to be that effective but his deflect his damage mitigation and his death proof have been game changing and he'll keep phoenix long alive uh, so that she can use her special and hopefully her alt and that way you can do a massive punch into that node and last but not least don't level shield trooper i rushed into it leveling him up and it was a waste of materials yes he doesn't cost any t13 materials but he does cost a ton of orange uniques uh, that are um, sorry that are non-uniques that are the general orange materials and those materials can be used on other characters and level them up to t13 and t14 so don't waste your time with trooper his damage is terrible yes he has done a little bit of damage for me but if i had to go back in time i would tell myself don't do it and i would slap myself in the face so don't level trooper up and not to mention you also need to get trooper up to level 75 so again think about the gold that you got to bring in to do that and that's a ton of money and again a ton of resources for the orange non uh the non-uniques all those uh you know all those catalysts and the alphas and like i already said you don't need to be wasting those resources when you can use them on other characters that are more essential other than shield trooper i don't think i'm i don't even think i'm using him on other game modes so he's a waste so just don't bother even if you've got him at red seven reds maybe 
Maybe I would consider it. Maybe. Just maybe. But he's only four reds for me, and he sucks. So don't do that. Again, this is my opinion, guys, but I would not waste that time. Even if you got the four characters already and you need one more, don't be guilty and don't get greedy like I did. That's what I did. I pushed him into the five because I didn't want to wait anymore. There's no there's no race for this, guys. Uh, you, you're not you know unlocking any crazy new character. It's just Ultimus, five reds. I don't think that's going to game change anybody, uh, unlike Ultron. So, again, guys, just keep that in mind. And, uh, yes, I will leave you guys with that. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Next time, uh, once I get through 5 and 6 and 7 and 8, we will talk about the next four nodes, and those are the global ones. But I can't imagine it changing too much because, again, Colossus, you've got Phoenix, uh, you've got, uh, you know, you've got Mr. Sinister, and then last but not least, to finish off the core, you've got Santa Supreme, and you've also got Shuri. For those Ultron lovers, yes, you can for sure level them up. I'm not telling you guys not to. He's, you know, he's good in all the game modes. I'm sure a lot of people will want to push him to tier 14 because he doesn't have those reds. He's already, you know, already pretty impaired by his abilities. So pushing him up further is going to help you guys with that. But just reiterate that he wasn't as effective that as I, as I thought it would be. And his cost just doesn't pay off his, for his efficiency. His 60, 130, 130 materials or whatever it was, it's just too much resources for one single character and by definition if you can get two characters for the price of one why the heck would you not right so anyhow that's just my spiel there hopefully you guys found this useful hopefully this helps you guys out with the first few nodes and uh, hopefully the characters help you guys figure out you know what characters do you want to start off with and uh, yes uh, we will be back next time talking about the next four nodes whenever that is probably another 60 days after I tackle on the next bunch all right, guys, thank you for watching, and as always, stay safe and happy gaming.